when I came over here, I was, oh God, I was in my, my uh, mid-twenties. Right. The first time I really came over here. You know, I had a whole bunch of weird paranoid suspicions about what the hell was going on because there was a lot of stuff I couldn't understand. Right. Um, and nobody was really bothering to explain it to me. They don't. <clears throat> and it, it, and I formed a bunch of opinions about the town and about the people in it that were like, surely that couldn't be because a whole place can't be like, you know, weird town, you know, where the stranger wanders in and, and all the people are in the bar and they all shut up when he looks at them and, mm -hmm. and they tell you don't go out of the house on the hill and it's like that. Mm -hmm. And then you go away and you think, no, that's, I was wrong. I mean, that's insane thinking. I'm paranoid. I imagined that stuff. That couldn't be the reason for why so-and-so was acting like, could it? Mm -hmm. And then you find out later on the track that you are exactly on track mm -hmm. with a lot of this stuff. Not specifically on no, track, no. but that you could, uh, that some of your worst nightmares were real at the time. And you think, <gasps> mm -hmm. it does rip your life to pieces. Does it? If you'll let it. Yeah. And it's always pounding at the walls. It's yeah. the, these little guys, these little heathens with no soul downstairs with horns on their head with a battering ram trying to like beat your walls in. Yeah. But it doesn't take very long before you realize, or before it gets to you. It's cascading on you all the time. You can't get away from certain attitudes, from certain modes of behavior that this town and the industry dictate. And no matter how strong you are when you come in off the farm mm. with those convictions and those and a certain line of attack, no matter how strong you are, you are going to be affected by this place. Mm. No, I've, it's I've... going to divert you from where you were going. Sure. You're going to be diverted. Mm. You'll, you'll eat yourself alive here. Mm. And I think it takes that kind of cockroach resilience to survive in this town. I mean, this is a bizarre place. Uh, the social contract. You can't get mad. Mm -hmm. You can't get mad. You can't let it get you. Because you have to have, you have to make a deal with everyone else and it's almost unspoken that you are going to be f***ed over at some point. I mean, as a matter of interest, do you think it's easier because you're an outsider who came in? I think so, Yeah. because it was glaring to me because I was an outsider who came in. 